Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna tear down uh, the Turbo 400 for the Camaro build. I'll uh, have a look inside. It's probably pretty gross. It needed a rebuild. The outside doesn't look good. The inside doesn't look as good as well. So, let's tear it down and see what's inside. We're gonna check, I think, uh, it's on the engine side, or the torque converter side, the input shaft. We're gonna check the play, lateral play, inside and out. Um, we'll write that down, it, and then we'll check it to spec. I don't remember exactly what the spec is. I think it's like 80 thou, somewhere around there, but I'll be sure to have it um, correct in the description, or maybe we'll just do a little title on the screen. But if you haven't checked out my indicator review, of this, we're gonna use this uh, Fowler indicator and base. So let's hook it up and find out what we have. We'll just check the play. We're outside, so there's a little glare on the indicator, but let's see, must have moved the indicator a little bit. Uh, let's see, we got it zeroed out, and we'll just pop it out. Nope. And that's about 45, so about 48 thousandths of lateral play and this other shaft doesn't have any lateral play so let's start taking it apart not really an automotive specialty I got some uh, plastic bags two shallow and uh, wide surface footage like baking sheet and a deep pan or you could also put uh, all your bolts in your pan so, uh, let's start taking it apart. took uh we loosened up all these bolts we left them in there uh be sure to do that because they're two different sizes one's half and one's uh let's see is it nine sixteenths no 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 seven sixteenths so you want to lift this up uh, to get this out of this groove right here and then pop these lines off all in one motion without damaging anything. Ooh, just like that. Let's put a screwdriver right here in the front. Give it a little twist. There we go. Now, these lines have to go with it. Just gotta do everything. This is a very delicate part. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. And we'll put it on our tray. Okay, uh, after we got the valve body off, we're gonna take uh, this piece, which I don't know what it's called. This is my first re uh, trans rebuild, so stick with me. Um, take the plate. Uh, it was a separator plate. Uh, there's two gaskets, one on the valve by, one on top, and then one, there should be one on the bottom. And then there's also check balls underneath here. Um, depending if it has a shift kit or not, we don't even know. I got it used. Uh, there'll be a different number of balls. Uh, I have a shift kit also. And I also have a book that I got off of Amazon that is very detailed. I recommend picking it up. But um, we'll just check how many balls we have. I think it's six for regular um, non-shift kit. But we'll take a look. But first, we gotta take this off. Time for tomorrow. I'm just back from yesterday. Got some sugar that you think. Can you spare a dime? Not much longer till I'm out of time Out of sight, out of my mind 
Yeah, it looks like I ripped a gasket. That's fine. Uh, we got new ones. Um, but, just for, ooh, look at all that rust. I don't know if you can get that on camera. See all that rust? Note the orientation. Yeah. Uh, next step, we're gonna take this piece off. These are half inch. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> Damn crow. Okay, uh, let's see what's underneath. Mm. Uh, pretty dirty. Let's put it in our pants. Uh, before we remove that, um, we'll take off the modulator and also the cable drive. Well, we'll take off the modulator and we'll also take off this piece. Let's do that now. Really fantastic that uh, these American old American transmissions are like all half inch, three eighths, or seven sixteenths. It makes it really easy if you're American. Can't stop thinking about the medicine. God damn, doctors on the loose again. Time Lord, jumping in that box again. I think we were supposed to do these first. That probably doesn't matter at all. I think after this we'll do uh, the tail section. And then continue on the inside. All right, let's see. Oh. Underneath. It's the governator. The governor. Governor. Yeah, this is the governor. All right, cool. Uh, bag it and tag it, so you know where everything goes. We gotta take our tail section off, but before we do that, we gotta take the yoke off. Um, not supposed to use a chrome socket with an impact because you could uh, shatter it and crack it, but this piece of junk. Don't put out enough torque to do that. Always get the black sockets for uh, impact if you got a pretty powerful one. But you probably already have them if you have a pretty good uh, impact. So let's take it off. There we go. We shot that down with penetrating fluid. We can't get this yoke off. So, uh, I'm gonna skip it and keep moving forward until that's set and we can hammer it off. All right, we'll take off this piece. It goes to the selector and we'll set aside, tag it, and keep going. Yeah, no time for tomorrow. I'm just back from yesterday. Got some sugar. God damn, doctor's on the loose again Time Lord, jumping in that box again Okay, we took off that uh, little cover where the selector goes. This will push up against here when you go and park. If you see those teeth down there, this will lock in and it locks in your tail so you don't roll. 
but I believe we take this out, grab the spring, don't drop it in there, we'll fish out later, and we'll, I think we grab that later, but bag the spring with uh, your other pieces. Next step. Okay, we're definitely shooting out of order, but we got this cover up, and this just lifts right out. So you just grab it. Uh, it might be pretty hard because it's under pressure. Uh, careful not to lose nothing. And we'll put everything in the way it comes out. I think this is part of the transmission. But keep this together, put it aside for uh, rebuild. Next step. All right, we can't get the yoke and tail housing out but uh, we're just gonna keep moving forward and maybe we can figure out later um, we're burned daylight so let's keep it going we gotta get this uh, bolt out it's a 12.3 eighths uh, we had to go get one because we didn't have one uh, once you take this out you can pull uh, the whole assembly out the, or unbolt the front take the whole assembly out and then uh, set that aside for cleaning Be sure not to strip out that bolt. It is a special bolt. It is special. There's a hole that goes right through it. So I've heard. There it is. Bag it and tag it. Move on to the front. Also take this little filter. I'm gonna put it in the bag with uh, that bolt. Okay, we removed our bolts, and two of these bolts are threaded in this uh, cast housing. Um, we don't have a slide hammer, but we do just have some bolts, and get the two that are threaded, and uh, bolt them in, and we might need a slide hammer. Yeah, that thing's heavy. We'll work at it. Cut. Alright, I definitely recommend a slide hammer, but we got it without one. Just use uh, some long bolts. If you had threaded rod, that'd probably work a little bit better than you could make your own slide hammer. But we got it with a little um, help with a hammer. But we're gonna pull it out like this. There's one piece. Dude, that's uh, the pump. Mm -hmm. We'll set it on our tray down here. Now I believe this whole clutch assembly comes out. Yep, give her a pump tug. Be careful with this. Uh, you might want more than just a couple trays. Or if you have a workbench, you can put it right on there. And uh, take a look inside there. We got our clutches. I got some springs. We'll be taking all those out and got a band over here. We'll get the band. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll be taking all this out. So next step, let's keep going. Okay, we got this piece out. Um, I definitely recommend some hooks, but we got it out with a. Well, I got it out with my fingertips and then handed it off. He got his hands underneath it and we got it out. Another piece out. Um, looks like a front clutch assembly, I believe. We'll set it aside for a rebuild and keep going forward. Okay, now uh, we gotta loosen up this nut. It's a 9 16 And next we take this pin out, I believe. Correct? Sure. I'm gonna pull the whole rod out, I imagine. But I think we gotta take the nut all the way off. Mm -hmm. To get the whole pin out. Come 
horses. There we go. Let's see, actually. Careful not to lose anything. Got the nut. We have the little nail. And we got our selector out. Take this piece out. Like it's a little carboned up. Ah, we'll get it out. But don't lose your pieces. We're gonna take our speedo gear, seven sixteenths. Just like so. Okay, take your band out. Um, there's a little uh, pin in there which will seat on the pin. Pull that, this is uh, pretty flexible, and it pulls right out. Now we got a snap ring in there, which you can see right here. If you can see that, which you gotta take that piece off. So I'll just take a screwdriver, go a little bit at a time. Ooh. It might be pretty hard. But just work your way around. Do the other side. there there we go bands on top of those and uh, we'll go right over this pin or I'll just turn it about the orientation of that it was Some in there going there a specific way okay it was sitting in this way I'm pretty sure it's Pretty sure we got a new one. Yeah. But it's probably a specific way. I'll probably say in the book. Um, we'll just set it down the way it came out. Like this. I've been going through a lot of gloves today. But if you want your hands dirty, you don't need them. But I like wearing gloves. Now we're gonna get the, the clutches and see friction discs. Pressure plates, everything. We'll just grab it right now. As you can see down here, got a whole set. Uh, you can take them out, um, lay them down the way you take them out. If we can get them out. There we go. We're gonna take it like that. Um, there's a large lock on top. It looks like there's a little, uh, it looks like they can only go in there one way. Um, a large notch right here. Uh, look, ripped another glove. Then you got all your clutch plates. Um, pretty much everything. Just take it out, set it down the way you took it out. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, we another, got another snap ring after you take out those, those, okay, we got another snap ring after you take out those clutch packs, just like before. Work on one side and work your way around. And then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Yep. 
Okay, after you get that snap ring off, um, note the orient orientation. Looks like there's a little peak on the top, the way I took it out. And just have fun with it. Have fun taking the snap ring out. It's a lot of fun. Take the piece on the inside. Out as one assembly. And put it aside on your pans. And continue on to the next step. Well, there's one more snap ring. Snap ring number three. Snap ring number three. Uh, once you get that out, um, you'll be taking out this long tube right here. It has bushings on the front and back. And then uh, note the orientation. Uh, double splines the bottom, single spline up top. Set that aside. And now, this should pull right out. Should. You know what I think? The tail should, the yoke. Mm-hmm. Some Okay, we had to run and grab some more tools. It's getting pretty late. Uh, we grabbed this from Harbor Freight pull our yoke up because we cannot get that thing off and uh, this kit should have everything that we need. How much was it? 15 bucks. Not bad. Actually no, cheaper with 20% off. That's a deal. So let's set it up and I'll torque it off. Okay, we got our puller. Uh, the pusher in the center. Thread the two bolts on the yoke. Um, the kit actually comes with a little flat uh, pusher, but it's not gonna go down far enough if you can see that right there and Then uh, above that I have a socket uh, Just cuz I think it will bottom out once we start pushing So let's get the impact and give her hell Here we got the yoke out. Um, I don't even know if we can still use this. Kind of should, kind of need to, because budget's tight. But it probably needs to be soaked in solvent or something for a long time, because this thing is rusty and gross and disgusting. So, put this off to the side if yours is like ours, or get a new one. But, let's take out the rest of the parts. We're close. Don't drop anything. Everything's really delicate. And set this off to the side to get taken apart and rebuilt. Now we can finally take off our um, tail. And that's the last piece, or almost the last piece. And after this we have two more pieces to take off and that is it. We can send this, oh, correction. Three more pieces to take off. Then we can uh, send this to cleaning. And then, uh, do an assembly video next. Got our tail. Um, Got your uh, bushing in there. Your seal. I think the kit comes with new ones. So we'll take off the pole. Get any of those. Cha Ching! There's a clip on the back side. Hopefully I can get it without. Uh, dropping it in there. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. Got our clip. Oh, geez. Mm. It's all gummed up back here. Well, clips one part. Oh my god. Okay, there's uh, one more band in here we forgot about. Uh, 
gotta figure out how to get it out of here. Might be in. Oh. Come on, like that. Until we figure out how to get it out. It's pretty gross. Looks like it's missing a chunk. It's not in the best shape, but I hope we have another one of these. We'll find out in our rebuild kit. But just set it off to the side. Yeah, I didn't even note the orientation. I think it was like this. I think it only goes in one way. I'm sure the book will tell you. Book will tell you. So I got this piece out. Set it aside with the other pieces. Um, I think there's friction material on that or... Mm -hmm. So... Flex material. If that's done, it's done. You can't reuse it. You can't clean it up to reuse. It just doesn't work like that. And now our case on the inside is completely cleaned out. If you can see that. Except this, which is um, our pole. It's pretty dirty in there. It's pretty dirty, especially the bell housing. You gotta get this thing absolutely perfectly clean. If you have even like a little bit of dirt in there, you reduce your transmission life by a lot. Correct? Or if it'll work at all. Or if it'll, yeah, or if it'll work at all. Yeah. Cool. Now, um, just one more piece we got, uh, I'm gonna take out. It's this piece. We'll just get our pliers. Yeah. Hopefully we can yank it out. Hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe we can punch it out with a screwdriver. Buy a new one. Actually, we're gonna do that. We're gonna punch it out. If we can. Oh yeah, getting this? Mm-hmm. There it goes. We'll get a new one. Junk. I think that kind of wraps up our build. Our disassembly. Our disassembly. We're not done building this. Um, subscribe uh, for the second part of this uh, rebuild of this transmission. Or if it's already up, go check it out. It's probably under part two assembly or something. I don't know yet. We didn't get that far. But thanks for watching. Yeah. Time Lord jumping in that box again.